right, now we're getting we're getting underway. We have a sub coming in. We got Wiki Tricks coming in for Compton High, which is his uh, alma mater. He graduated from a Compton High and he used to be a mentee. Um, his main role is the off tank, and then right now I think we will see him on the off tank with Mamashiba. Mamashiba getting two picks onto the point, opening it up with Compton High here. Interesting. Yeah, I can tell you, Wiki Tricks is very scary when when you put him on off tank. That is his main role. I hear he's already pressuring any supports. He's ever playing as their tank in Centennial means to Oh, five player kill streak in combat. Now Wiki Trace is just going ham on the Zarya here, just opening up a lot of space for his team. Oh my goodness. I'm just cleaning up. And it doesn't look like Centennial High School has any um, ultimates to reply. Especially when Compton High has five ultimates already up. So it's going to be very, uh, very chaotic in this next team fight coming in. Looking like Compton High is going to have the upper upper hand here. I think that's what you need to start out with, is getting the upper hand, try to throw your uh, your opponents off on that first round, and just staying strong into the next. Is that a premature beat from Super Ninja? <laughs> oh no, Let's see how this plays out. And Super Ninja does pay for that too. No. These, these Compton High tanks are just going ham, especially with R. Kelly's lawyer getting getting two there. R. Kelly's lawyer, wow. Yeah. That is, that, that yeah, is what, a, that... what a name. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come with some A-game if you're, you're definitely R. Kelly's lawyer. Wow. Oh. Round and one going took... to Compton High there. Just very dominant tank play. Especially with um, some plays coming in from the Junkrat there at the end, getting two really big. Yeah, so T Compton High is Team Red and Centennial is Team Blue. For anyone that's coming into the stream right now. Yeah, coming into the second round, I really don't think the uh, Junkrat is a good pick against... Um, Oh well, Wiki Trick's not even on the Zarya anymore, so this is actually a really good pick. Getting a lot of all the charge for, for the junk right here. It seems like Centennial switched up some of their uh, characters. We see a Junkrat on, on Centennial. I think I see a now I see a Reinhardt. Yeah, Reinhardt and an Orisa. Very interesting <laughs> tank composition here. Um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Yeah. I always feel like a, a, a good balanced team is better than featuring heavy than it on a tank. Depending on if you know what you're doing. Yeah, not not too often do we see both a Reinhardt and an Orisa on the same team. Mainly because of the lack of mobility. And they can't really complement each other. Yeah, and Centennial High will pay for it. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, very well played there from Mama Shiba and Wiki Tricks being dominant on the point. And Wiki Tricks coming in for the flank here, trying to get a cheeky pick. Doesn't yes. quite work, but he did I, come out alive. I think one of the great features of Overwatch, if you get Kato, they give you a chance before you load back in to switch a character. I always switch a character to get comfortable within the match. So I, I, I feel Compton should at least, <laughs> so Centennial should at least do that. Get to a character you can, you're comfortable with. Yeah, and Barry's pick on the uh, on the Reaper here is very good against the against the Roadhog. See R. Kelly, all uh, getting his ultimate destroyed by a fire strike there by the Phoenix. Ooh. 
R. Kelly was eliminated. But they're still dominating though. A little bit of overextension there. That was a fast game, so pay for it. Oh my goodness, Mama Shiba getting two with the Gravitic Flex there. Wookie Tricks getting another pick onto their main tank and just cleaning up Centennial High here. Oh my goodness. And that first map goes to Compton High School. Good game, Compton. I think Centennial strategy should be a very should be very balanced. Complement what your what your gone competitors are going against. Yeah, and taking this extra second just to rethink and re strategize coming into the second game will definitely help out. One. All right, and Danny's gonna be summing in for Centennial Ooh. here. Personally, I really like trash talk. It keeps the it keeps the games pretty, pretty competitive and pretty interesting. So, true. But when you have a a retired player like myself coming back and seeing new characters within Overwatch, you want I want to be very humble. I think someone should be very humble and uh, get get maybe like two three wins under your belt, then start the trash talk. That's just me. See, I'm the type of guy to just trash talk from the beginning, just to get in my opponent's head. Because if they're, if you get them angry enough, they're not gonna, they're not gonna think straight, so they're not gonna be on their A game. <laughs> I have beef with Wiki Tricks um, from the Overwatch sessions. I mean, not Overwatch, um, Rocket League. I'm just saying, I'm gonna be very humble. But Overwatch, not I keep on saying Overwatch, Rocket League. That is a game that gives me nightmares to this day. Rocket League. I love Rocket League. It's one of my favorite Welcome games, actually. They actually have a new um, DC Halloween update currently going on right now. Initiating oh, yeah, current. they have a Batman promotion. <laughs> yeah. With all the Batmobiles on sale right now for, like, what, 20, 20 bucks? I will, I mean, there's a possibility I might jump on. Because I want that, I want the the Batman, Robert Pattinson's Batmobile. <laughs> All right, so let's see Hollywood. This is a hybrid map, and what that means is the first map is basically um, one team has to capture the point, and then it will transfer onto a payload map where the attacking team has to escort the payload all the way to the end to um, to basically win the whole game. Incoming. And to actually win this entire match, you have to beat your opponent's time, or just get further. Just get further in the map. I definitely remember this map. I feel Centennial should make use of a good sniper on this map. Yeah, especially if the the vantage points all the way in the back, a Widowmaker would do really well there, but. We see them going for the Bastion route here, with the damage boosted Bastion being covered by a Reinhardt. And then Danny's going to be supporting from the back with Ana here. Could we possibly probably see, which we always see Overwatch players do, have the Bastion on top of the payload? And oh, just crazy. John going down almost immediately here, which will halt the uh, their push, getting traded up by Fairy. Reaper taking out. Oh, that oh, oh that's very dangerous there, and he's gonna pay for it. That was not a good charge. 
kind of a little bit of an overextension there, bringing down Centennial High, um, down two players now, which only uh, three players on point to defend, with Compton High coming in with a lot of momentum there. And it's just going to clean up on, on the first point here. There's a lot of back and forth between Compton and Centennial. I like those. They're contested. And the lone mercy. Oh no. <laughs> Will they keep this point alive? I don't think so. And then the, the ball will go down here. Oh, here we go. The payload is moving. Yeah, getting past that first choke in Centennial High is not, not set up yet, so Compton will get some distance here. The Bastion. Even bomb coming out gets no one. And the Bastion set up. There he goes down here, so they will be forced to reposition. And we see Fairy just one v one ing Wiki Tricks here out for blood. That is a bad idea. You don't want to do. You want to go lone wolf. Yeah, That's especially great. against the, especially against the Diva, you can just eat, eat up all your shotgun shells. Yes. Now we see the Bastion took out Genji. Oh, what a charge from Mama Shiba taking out the Bastion from behind. <laughs> that was such a cheeky play. Wow, Fairy oh. getting three here before going down to Wicked Tricks. And Wicked Tricks already has another Diva Bomb ready to go. That's the one we won against the Roadhog there. They are definitely going ham. Both of Jake's is going ham. Yeah, and Diva is, you know, that's his main character. So you will see him perform on, on Diva here. Yeah, that's, a, that's a dangerous combo. That's a dangerous if you have someone who's mains. That's their main. That's their very dangerous. Especially on this type of a map at that. like Centennial is going to be trapped here in their own spawn just for a little bit though until they push out oh Wicked Trick's getting slept by Danny that was a, quite a great quite a great sleep there coming back with reinforcements just to take him out Wicked Trick's is anti can he land the kill oh and Wicked Trick's gets away safely oh do we have a soldier 76 on the map well, not anymore. He got he got killed by uh, got killed by Mama Shiba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Fairy does go back to the um, to the Reaper here. Oh, we do have a sniper on the map now. That's um. I want to see. We got the aim. Oh, Mama Shiba just oh, annihilating the DPS left and right. He coming out, giving Compton High a lot of momentum here as they fight for the last last few meters on this point. Our Kelly the... lawyer getting three kills, wiping out Triple half of the kill here. And it's just clean up onto this last point. Wow, three minutes and seven seconds is the time to beat. It's gonna be quite challenging to beat that time. Oh, oof. Yeah, especially with such a strong tank duo, Mamashiba and Wikitrix. Yeah, what what will Centennial do, just to just to come back from here? Cause all all game long, Compton High has been dominant throughout this entire series, um, which is expected since they do have a really strong tank duo. But you know, Centennial is able to figure out how to pick Compton apart, counter their tanks, and 
um, play together as a team, and anything's possible. Yes. Seconds. Intro comp and high, we should see <clears throat> Timmy's continual. Um, we already have we have a Reaper and a 76. That's a good combo. A Mercy, you do need um, that medic on the screw on the on a group. I do see a Diva and a Reinhardt as well. Yeah, a very strong tank combo there, especially when Diva was able to eat all the projectiles and everything coming her way. Yep. Oh, Mercy took it out. getting killed almost immediately there by R. Kelly Lawyer. Already out the gate. And R. Kelly getting very aggressive here. Just to keep, just to keep Centennial at bay. She loves Danny on the Genji here. Lil Knight getting a kill onto Arkeli, Arkeli Lawyer here, which will allow them to push up. Scorch going in aggressively. Lil Knight That's coming cool. in from behind, getting the kill onto Mama Shiba there. Scorch, and that was just, just clean up there for Centennial, getting a strong first point here. As Wiki Tricks is forced to back away. Centennial will grab this first point almost for free. <laughs> that opening pick was very, very big. Yes. We, 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 act, we wanted them to use that comp, that tank, the shield tank and D.Va properly, and they, they actually did it. Yeah, very well said. And, Ferry and, and I think on Centennial, Ferry and Lil Knight will be the key players here as they will be easily... Um, they're going to be able to take high ground a lot more easily than everyone else. Arkeli Laura getting scorched. Oh, Danny oh, taken, no. taken out. She loves Danny. I mean, yeah, Compton High clapping back. Yeah, Centennial will have to regroup here and just restabilize for another push together. Wicked Tricks just waiting for the perfect moment. To I see that gearing up. I definitely saw that gearing up. Wow, and both um, support alts coming out before any Centennial alts even come out. Oh. Danny getting two, Wiki getting two, bringing them down to an even fight here. Oh, Fairy getting another one. Very good fight put up there by Centennials. Yeah, but unfortunately their their supports are a little behind the fight here. But it's all okay because we got Danny and Terry just aggressing. With that point moving. Wow. Very very gutsy up there from Perry, but unfortunately he will pay for it. he will pay the price. Danny getting two on the soldier before getting taken out by R. Kelly Lawyer here, but being revived again. Yeah, I can do this. Oh, R. Kelly getting three. Oh, that is huge. That will force Centennial to regroup here. That junk rat. Mm. That dangerous junk, combo. That junk rat is just it's on fire. Getting three kills in that last fight and just being just consistently getting one or two picks every single team fight. Doing yep. his team a favor. All going on Fairy Arkell getting picked off by Danny. Danny is a very talented soldier player and this is one of his main um, Characters trying to get the pick on the Zenyatta there. Doesn't quite finish. Scorch coming out with the with the ultimates. Oh, wow. Scorch with two hit, with two kills. Yeah, Centennial is just being super dominant on offense now. Danny getting another pick onto R. Kelly, just shutting him down. As we see, Wicked Tricks using his ultimates onto the point. And Scorch just trying to clear it out. But will it be enough to hold him out? Ricky Chase staying alive for dear life for his teammates to come back. Fight for the point. Fairy scores getting one pick. 
Compton down to Arkelly doing another one. And Centennials come out victorious for the second point here. Now, not gonna beat uh, Compton High's time, but as long as they get that third point, they're still in this fight and it's still anyone's game here. Yes. And you know what I like seeing from both of these teams so far? They're, they're adapting to each other's playstyles and just, um, you know, working together, especially with the counter picks coming out. Yeah, I definitely noticed that if they was all they, if they was all crowd killed at the same time, you see them right out the gate, and their spawn point just working together right out, or just right at the start. You know, they were, they're working cohesively at right at the start, and they, it seems like they have great com um, communication at that. Yeah, and looks like Centennial Centennial High School will have to be forced to regroup here, trying to keep alive the baby diva. Going to be a challenge. Wicked Tricks diving in deep, going aggressive in the back line. Just keeping, keeping the fight up here. And it looks like Centennial's you know, able to regroup. Yep. They had a few more inches. They got this. I, I believe in them. I believe in Centennial. Yeah, they're definitely putting up a really good fight here. Oh, premature beat coming in from Super Ninja. Not able to counter any type of DPS ult. Danny coming in with the visor. This should be massive. Oh, getting shut down by R. Kelly. Oh. Very well timed um, transcendence there from Delizia John being able to save his own life. And R. Kelly just supporting with firepower. That's a triple kill. And no supports are up to keep Centennials alive here on the point, which will make it hard for them to stay, stay up. But they are able to regroup just a little bit. Wicked Tricks coming in deep right in the back line and no one's no one's paying attention to him fairy looking looking for a really big flank here oh no that's a bit of an overextension yeah you got to be really careful when you're flanking like that as uh, as reaper yes Super Ninja being caught out by, from the Diva Bomb. Only 20 seconds here for Centennial High to capture the point. Oh, very good ultimate there from Wiki Fix. Picking out the, the Baptiste. There we go. Wow, Danny going on just on fire there. That last stretch. Really great to see the Soldier 76. Score. Three to three. Good comeback from Centennial on that one. Yeah, I really think the uh, the soldier was a really good pick there, just being yeah. able to basically shut down their tanks and you know be be the more dominant damage dealers there. Ready really did battle. them a favor. And it looks like we will see the same composition coming from Centennial High. And Compton High, same same comp from both teams actually. No changes being made whatsoever. That's good. It, it takes, like we said at the start, it takes uh, multiple tries to see what you're comfortable with, and we now see that both teams are very comfortable with um, the characters that they're choosing. Uh, they're choosing. Yeah, especially with R. Kelly on the uh, on the Junkrat. Very very scary to have him on a Junkrat because you can see how effective he can be, landing yeah. you know two to three kills with his tire. And being just a nuisance on, for every team fight. Yes. Three, two, one. Sixty seconds remaining. Oh, and immediately getting a pick again, but this time on the other support. Although 
time, not, not able to, uh, getting caught out there. Not winning the 1v1 against R. Kelly. And Wicked Tricks just dominating the back line here. In and out, and just being a nuisance for the entire Centennial team there. Now 20, 25 more seconds to capture this point. Centennials do have to work fast. And those early picks did not help them whatsoever. No. Oh, and they are not aware that R. Kelly is just right behind them. Oh my goodness. But looks like looks like Centennial will be capping the point, maybe. No. Fighting. Overtime. We're hitting overtime. Yeah, I know. Danny getting two here. Opening up the point for his team. Just have to deal with the ball here. Oh, Danny coming out with the ultimate, getting one. Will he find another? Oh, five player kill streak. Now yeah, Compton doing everything in their power to keep this point alive, contesting as much as they can. But Centennial's so close. Will they be able to get this point? Oh, they're just trying to focus down that ball very hard. You know, the Super Ninja being caught out by Little Knight there. And they are able to capture the objective. Wow, that was very well played from Centennial there. Yeah. They put up that fight and they, they succeeded. Yeah, they're just getting very good picks, especially, you know, Danny on the Soldier, like we said before. If he's able to get picks, his team just able to capitalize on that, which is very, very good to see. Much better. Damage increase. Which is being a nuisance in the back line. Getting his ultimate down onto the point. Going straight for the supports, getting, picking off Danny. R. Kelly getting two. And then oh. that, that's all she wrote for that round. Oh. R. Kelly and Wiki Tricks, player of the game. Yeah, there's such a, such a dominant duo there. Getting, you know, the last few picks just to take him off the cart. Uh, last time we saw Compton High on on offense, they they kind of steamrolled through the first point here. But you know, Centennial has been analyzing the game Ready for and that. been re re strategizing. So, mm -hmm. and with that said, we do see a fresh new lineup. We see Scorch on the uh, we get, we see a double shield Attack and Bastion here. Looks like a bunker. And then it looks like Compton High is going to be the same composition as they played before. Uh, the double shield and bastion comp is going to be a very challenging, uh, very challenging point to contest here. I will be ready for this. Yep. Oh, Junkrat's already ready to go. Yeah, Scorch getting two already. Getting both supports. Oh, oh Lil Knight getting caught out by R. Kelly. Bit, you know, away from his team there. Scorch in big trouble. No, he's left open here without a shield. Very, very vulnerable. Very hard to deal with. Oh, sorry, my 
proper shield use, um, the combination between uh, Fairy and Scorch is, is definitely working right here. Yeah, we've been just changing the shields every so often. Making it that much harder just to get to the, to the Bastion. Especially when you have two supports on him at all times. R. Kelly doing his best just to break down those shields. Oh, she's going into the high ground. Getting two picks there. Oh! That is bad. Bye, kill, bye, kill, bye, kill, kill streak. Care of those bombs. Oh, it takes out the, the mercy here. And Scorch looks like he is in trouble as he uses ultimate. Oh, Mama Sheep was able to kill that. No. But Danny's not gonna let it slide. Gets two. Will he get a third? No, he will not. Mama Sheep will be swinging him out. Centennial barely able to hang on to this first point here. A little nice and very big trouble. And he has the res off. How does he even do that? No, oh, but they're trapped. Mama Shiva getting for the cheeky high ground here as the Reinhardt. Not able to do much other than just set up there with a shield. <laughs> oh, Wiggy. Oh, man. 10 seconds already? Yeah, they're able to hold this. Centennial was just putting down a solid hold this entire round. Oh, and Centennial comes out victorious. It looks like we will see a game three coming in from Centennial and Compton as the series is tied one to one. Good comeback from Centennial, even it up. Yeah, especially when Compton High was dominant throughout, like, you know, most of the series, Centennial was able to bounce back. Ready? So start. Now entering King's Row. King's Row is actually one of my favorite maps here. Um, the first, the first point's quite challenging to get to, um, since there is quite a choke point here. No. Oh. Yeah, it's either that or you go through the uh, you go through the the movie theater, but not all the characters can make it out in time. So. <laughs> yeah. And my screen is digitized, so I am. If I'm quiet, if I was quiet most of the time, it was because it's it's very digitized. I can't see the names. Oh, it's, it's probably really my fault. I was I was lagging. I accidentally opened Steam and started downloading something. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, one of my favorite strategies on this first map is to go Symmetra and um, Bastion and uh, what's it called and um, man what's that guy's Sigma and they just like teleport everyone up to onto the statue usually the, the defending team never sees it coming oh but Lofi is on the on the Widowmaker yeah I was gonna say that we have a Widowmaker on the map now Oh, I've never seen her play Widowmaker before. Let's see. I'm trying to get the headshots out here on Super Ninja. Oh, that was nasty. <laughs> oh, Lofi is doing out for blood. 
actually plays the low ground. Barry coming up here, being aggressive onto this Orisa. Will she clean her up? Of course she does. Yes, he will. Oh. Some Deku going down here. Oh, Mercy's in trouble. Mercy's in very big trouble. But Santana High School looks like they will be keeping this on the... On the down. Oh, E-Metal coming in for the flank, getting... Not quite getting the pick there. Oh my goodness, E-Metal. Will he make it out alive? Barely. He's being chased down by Lil Knight here. But Lil Knight will back off there. Very good move. Oh, Lil Knight comes down. Sentinel High down too. Barry getting a lot of charge here. Yeah. This is a for I have, I have no normally see people use Zara. Zarya is very good on this on this map actually, especially when because um, King's Row is very a lot of narrow um, halls and choke points makes it super easy for Zarya to build up charge very efficiently. No one can hide from my sight. Getting another No, we have a Zinniana and a Mercy at the same time. Yeah, that Zen's ready, ready to pull the Transcendence. They are dominating. They finally they are dominating. Is it Lily, the knight, or fairy? It's just like back and forth. Them taking out all of the uh, company. Just cleaning house. Oh, email will take out Scorch. Well, Scorch does get revived from the uh, Mercy here.
Wow, Centennial cleaned house, took out Compton. Installing updates. He's just marching in. About to make it to their objective. Oh, that was that was unfortunate there for Glizzy John just falling off the map. Oh, it's this portion. I hate this portion. You one wrong step and you're, you you can take yourself out. Yeah, and when you're going against like a hog or um, hog, junkrat, or even a Lucio, they can just, all those characters can boop you off, including Orisa. So that's also one other thing to be looking out for at all times. See, so as yeah, Z-Metal there trying to, trying to pull Perry off of the map. Yeah. I like to uh, do a kamikaze attack with Reinhold. Just. Ooh. Very big plays coming in from the DPS from Centennial High School. They're fighting back. Oh, but Compton yeah. made it to their first round completion of objective. Score zero to two. Switching sides. Initiating. Why is this point still here? <laughs> Did it reset? Yeah, it's resetting right now, I think. Oh, okay. I was, was going to say, that would be kind of messed up. <laughs> the objective is yeah, already at the, the end. The just stays there. <laughs> it's free win for Compton there. Or Centennial High, excuse me. It, it is so confusing that nobody's name's up. Incoming in 30 seconds. Yeah, first day is always the toughest, trying to learn everyone's name and what, what high school they're coming from and what kind of play style they have and everything. Hello there. Are they getting ready for their checkpoints? Yeah, and E-Metal's going to be Five, staying on the hog. Four, Quite an interesting three, choice for the two, first point here. One. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Low five staying on that... On that little maker. Oh. Yeah, Reinhardt going down in the, in the first in the first fight. It's not a good sign, but he no, does get not. resurrected. Reaper is resurrected. Yeah, Scorch, turn around, buddy. Oh no, I don't think pushing up here is a really good idea, especially no. when, the, when the hog is like right there. <laughs> Just harassing the back end. Scorch is kind of giving up there. <laughs> Looks like uh, if I'm just trying to be their sniper as much as they could. Play good. All right, Moon Knight coming in with some kills, but our Kelly's Laurie coming right back. Okay. 
Oh, double kill from Fairy. Enemy in my sights. And it looks like there was an assist from a Mercy with that one. Centennial High here has basically every single ultimate in the game right now. Well, not in the game, but every single ultimate. Oh, Little Knight with the five player. Little Knight with the five player kill streak. What a gamer. Let them up. No one is going to be looking for that, for that death block in here. Oh, this would have been the perfect time to do it. Especially after the shatter. Oh, it looks like it's not needed though. Our family committing suicide. On uh, deck, we took out the knights. Low fives. We definitely got a cold Cassidy on the map. Cold Cassidy? Oh yeah, you he huh? <laughs> <laughs> can no longer call him McCree. It's hot on me. It's actually 11 minutes past high noon. But for low fives, it is high noon. It's a very interesting choice to come in. I felt that was low fives were doing very well with uh with Mercy. Oh getting taken off to these tanks. Low fives. Say almost killing the Lucio right before the beat there. A super ninja came right back with the five to play a kill streak though. Yeah, and I think that's all she wrote in Centennial High School will take this victory home. In a best of three series, Centennial High wins two to one against Compton High. Good job, Comp Centennial. Good job to both teams. This was a yes. very close game. You know, Compton High in the beginning of the series, they were they were the dominant force, but as the series progressed, Centennial High was able to, you know, re regroup and just bounce back. I'm say communication was probably was there. It was like let's, let's let's get this going, get back in the game. That's GG. Well played. Thank you everyone for watching, and then that will bring us to a to a closing for today. But we'll see you next week. Bye everyone.